Nay, sir, I hold that not so good as say the sooth, even as it stood, how that he rose in mane and mood and went his way. To Sir Pilot by my hound's blood, that dare I say. And wilt thou tell Sir Pilot don't tell these true tales of tidings ill? In truth, I tell you, so I will. Straight in a trice. And if Sir Pilot doth us kill, no man dies twice. <laughs> when we then to Sir Pilot's hall, cumbered cowards he shall us call, and we abide both braid and brawl ere we are through. To Sir Pilot will I tell all full truth. Cumbered cowards are ye call! Cumbered cowards are ye call! Have ye let him go for ye all? Sir, there was none dare do but small when forth he fled. We were so feared, down did we fall, all dazed with dread. Thy fire upon your brag and boast, that of men your might was most. In Ilka town and Ilka coast, as each man knows, now all your respect is lorn. An Ilka man may ye now scorn, and bid ye sit amongst the corn. Scare the crows! To say the best for sooth shall I, and bring profit to us all thereby. Your knights behoves them to deny how he did go, and turn these tidings now awry. So no man know. Now, Sir Pilot, since it is so that he is risen, death us fro, command these knights to say, where'er they go, that he was ta'en by 20,000 of our foe, <laughs> and them near slain. Now hearest what thee shall say, to ill command both night and day, 10,000 men in which array came ye until with force of arms, bear him away against your will. This shall ye say in Ilka land, and there cometh also with this command a thousand pounds each in your hand as your reward and friendship always. Understand? Shall I afford? Look, you say what we have can. Yes, sir, by my hound, me men. In Ilka country you so ascend, by night and day, where so we come, where so we win, thus shall we say. The blessing of my hound go with thee, by night and day. Thus shall the sooth be bought and sold, and treason shall for truth be told. What wondrous love is this of thy Tell me, Gardner, I thee pray, if thou bear aught, my lord, away, say me the sooth. Say me not nay where that he lies, and I shall remove him, if I may, in some kind wise. Woman, why weep'st thou? Be still. Whom seek'st thou? Say me thy will. Deny me not when nay. For my lord, I look full ill. Dost stead thou bear his body till tell me thee, I pray? And I shall, if I may, his body bear with me. Unto my ending day, the better I shall be. Woman, woman, turn thy thought. And wit thou well, I hid him not, and bear him near with me. Go seek. Look thou, if thou find him aught. If faith I have him sought, but ne'er he will found be. Why, what was he to thee in soothfastness to say? Ah. Uh, he was so much to me, no longer live I may. Mary, thou seeks thy God, and that am I. Ravoni, my Lord, so dear. Now am I whole that thou art here. 
suffer me to nigh thee near and kiss thy feet. May I do so now and here, for thou art sweet. Nigh me not, my love, let be. For to my father tell I thee, yet ascend I not. Tell my brethren I shall be, before them all in trinity, whose will that I have wrought. To my disciples say thou so, but meanwhile all are wrapped in woe, that them succour I shall. By name Peter thou call, and say that I shall be, before him and them all, myself in Galilee. To Galilee now will I fare, and his disciples catch from care. What wondrous love is this? Oh, my soul. When I think on his passion and on his mother, how she did swoon to die near a mighty boon. Such sorrow I saw her make under cross when she fell down for her son's sake. Were never man in no kind stead that suffered had so great misdeed as he to death before he sped, nor yet the care. His hurt is allus in my head. Where's the where I fare? Pilgrims, why mourn you so, I pray? Why wend your way so full of rue? Tell me, have you missed your way? Ah, I fain would know what ails you too. What way? For shame, man, it's thou wend that thou wot not of this affray. How could thou thus learn, little friend? Annoy me now no more, I pray. I pray, if it be your will, these words you would rehearse me till. Once thou wot what is come and gone these past few days, methinks thou should make moan and weep there in thy ways. Why, what is done, can you me say, in this land this ilka day? Is there fallen any affray in this land somewhere? If you can me tell, I pray, before I further fare. Why, they have slain a man for naught. Jesus of Nazareth, full wise was he, but bishops, cursed may they be, damned him and nailed him to a tree that wrong never yet wrought. He shall rise up out of his pit. The holy prophets you tell so plain. So turn your thought and change your wit and trust well that Christ doth live again. Live again? Man! Hold thy peace. How should a dead man ever rise? I counsel thee such words to cease for fear of Pilate and his spies. It was slain at a greater size by council of lords all in a row. Take care thou say not dead men rise in every company where thou dost go. Why be a slow to give you trust? Did not Christ raise through his own might Lazarus that dead lay under dust and stink right foul as I you plight. To life Christ raised him from the pit again full right it is certain. Why cannot Christ himself thus quit and rise from death to live again? <laughs> <laughs> now Lord give thee good grace, for greatly comforted me thou hast. Come with us into this place, for here a mayor's castle is. Now, truly, sir, your words be good. <laughs> I have in you right great delight. I pray you, sir, if that you would, to dwell with us all this night. I must go hence and on full right, for many messages I have to do. I would abide if that I might, but at this time I must end school. You shall not go from us this night. Wax is dark, guns date, sun's down, lawns light. You shall not go from us away. This night you go not from us away, we shall you keep between us twain. <laughs> to us therefore you say not, nay, but walk we us in morn again. Since you keep me might in main, we hearty will I shall abide. <laughs> of your abiding we be full fain, no man more welcome in this world wide. Now, uh, after your labour and far walking, take you this loaf and eat some bread. And then we shall have some more talking of Christ our master that is now dead. Be merry and glad we hearts full free. For of Christ Jesus you who was your friend, you shall have tidings of game and glee within a while afore you wend. 
This bread that I do bless and break, it is my course, no common crust. This beaker, blood, shed for thy sake, and sup of it, ilk man, you must. Where, oh, where has this man become that sat right here betwixt us two? He break the bread and laid us some. How might he hence now from us go at his own list? It were our Lord, I trow, right so, and we not wist. Rise, go we hence from this place. To Jerusalem speed we apace. And tell our brethren all the case. Aye, and say it to us. Our Lord, alive in flesh and face, appeared to us. Yea, here in this stead we may not stay. Lo, hard on our heels, draws night next play. Make haste, make haste. You'll be too late. One fish, my dear. I cannot wait. For me, my to mend your cheer. Trust you that it be true. He is risen, the sooth to say. I met him going by the way. He bade me tell it you. Woman, with fables, do not as now fret. Some sprite it was that thou hast met, or it was not. We may trow on no kind wise that dead men to life can rise. This then is our thought. The sooth is, commands me, the Jews made Jesus grimly bleed through feet, hands and side. With nails on rude they hung him long. Therefore, woman, thou sayest all wrong. The sooth is that he died. <laughs> Are ye alleging I tell ye your lies? That he that died on rude did arise? I with him speak as I with you. Therefore ye both say I put away your heresy and trust my tale as true. But it is written in our law, there is no trust in women's saw, no true faith to believe. <laughs> For with their quaintness and their guile, they can laugh and weep some while, yet nothing them grieve. In our book there find me written all manner of men well it written of women on this wise. Like an apple does she seem, all aglow with gladsome gleam as there she lies. But if a man has say a bite, it is full rotten. Rotten right to the core within. <laughs> Therefore in women is no law. She is without all awe, as Christ be loosed from sin. Peace and rest bide on thy brow. Ah, brothers dear, what may we trow? What was this light that we saw now shining so bright and vanished us? We wot not how out of our sight. Out of our sight now is it so? It maketh us mad the light it brought. What may it be? Certes, I wot not. But certainly, it was but vanity in our thought. Not else trow I it be. Peace unto you evermore might be. Dread ye not, for I am he. In God's name, Benedicity. What may this mean? It was a sprite for so thinks me that we have seen.